David Stockman, uh, the former budget director under, under Ronald Reagan. Uh, and David, you know, just hearing this news, they look like they are close to a deal. You think they're going to do it? Well, if it's true, it's very bad news. Uh, it means that uh, Speaker Boehner has sold them down the river. They needed to stand firm for the entire $60 billion. What I heard last is they were negotiating between 34 and 39. It that sounds like... like looks, the, but it sounds like they're getting close to that $60 billion, though. I don't think so. Uh, the what? issue is uh, we are in desperate shape fiscally. The wolf is at the door. They can't compromise. $60 billion is the minimum they can do if they're unwilling to raise taxes, which the Republicans say they're unwilling to do. And if they're unwilling to take on entitlements, the Ryan plan that came out with so much uh, noise two days ago doesn't even cut Social Security or Medicare for the next 10 years. But, but let, OK, let's take aside that Ryan yeah. plan, though, which, you yeah. know, some have said, actually, you know, at least it starts a conversation about, you know, closing this budget gap. But if we are this close to getting this fiscal 2011 budget, you know, ratified, essentially, and, and, you know, and, 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 and put together, then why not let that happen then? Why not? Because I think it indicates that the Republicans aren't serious about spending cuts. They should have dug in. The White House is weak. Obama would have folded like a lawn chair if they simply would have dug in and said $60 billion is the minimum we can cut. This deficit is $1.6 trillion. Discretionary spending, that's what they're talking about, is totally out of control. $600 billion compared... Right, it's gone up to, I think, about 18% of the budget, right? Well, no, Something it's, like yeah, that. it's uh, 15%, but it's $600 billion billion compared to 300 billion in 2000 when Bill Clinton left office. Now even if we accounted for inflation, which is 30%, we should be spending 400 billion in constant dollars. We're 50% higher. If they can't cut that, we're in desperate trouble in this country then, and we're dependent on the Fed continuing to print money to pay the debt. Then David, tell, tell me what you think then, cuz it's yeah. basically you yeah. want a government shutdown, right? What do you think a government shutdown would actually accomplish then? Uh, I don't want a government shutdown. I want some leadership. Well, but, but, uh, I mean, but you said that the Republicans should man up and shut the government down. Though. Because I think if the, gov if the Republicans had stood firm for the $60 billion, the White House would have caved. The Democrats would have caved. Uh, listen uh, to uh, you know, the leader, a Democratic leader of the Senate, Harry Reid. Last summer, they had $25 billion of emergency funding for education, health care, no problem. It was pure campaign boodle. Now, now he didn't pass a budget for the year, and now he's blaming the Republicans uh, for uh, shutting down the government. I, I just think it is so backwards, so upside down, and we're simply kicking the can down the road, drifting further, hoping that somebody's going to buy the six billion worth of bonds that the government is issuing every day. But this what? is a dead end. This is heading for a very serious uh, dislocation. David, what makes you think, though, that if we get this, you know, if 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 we come head to head. And again, you know, this has not been this has not been agreed upon yet. I mean, as Peter was saying, there's still the issue of a, of essentially Planned Parenthood, of funding of abortion um, in health care. But uh, if this does get agreed upon, what what tells you, though, that this is going to be uh, bad or not beneficial for further budget talks? What tells you that? Uh, because it indicates that the Republicans don't mean what they're saying about spending cuts. It means that they're weak. It means that the Tea Party is going to be sold out by the old uh, boy uh, leadership, by Speaker Boehner, who is a weak sister when push comes to shove. And if the Republicans are weak on spending, if they're digging in against taxes, increases, if the Democrats are de uh, demagoguing on Social Security, how can anyone rationally believe we're going to do anything about our fiscal uh, si situation? We're not. It's going to drift. We have a, uh, you know, leadership by kick the can uh, the process. Uh, although, you know, we had a, a guest earlier on this week, Jeff Malden, who, you know, who said basically uh, we can only kick that can down the road for so long. You know, sometime by uh, the middle of this decade, you know, we are, of course, fast approaching that, uh, it'll come to the fore. You well, know, I think we are going to see faster. some sort of tragedy. In June, when the Fed stops QE2, it's the last bid that's left. The only bonds that are being bought at current interest rates are by the Federal Reserve. When they stop buying, when the people's printing press of China stops buying, which they already have, mm -hmm. we're going to have a crisis in the bond market. That isn't middle of the decade. That's middle of this year. That's June. That's coming. And the, dream the, walkers, the dream walkers in Washington are ignoring it.
David, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> you, you stopping by. David Stockman, he's the former budget director under the former president, Ronald Reagan.